A year ago, in eighth grade, I had to sit alone at lunch every week. On the first Wednesday in eighth grade, I walked into the lunchroom. Looking around at all the tables and people, I was searching for anyone I knew. As I was looking, the butterflies in my stomach were making me more and more nervous. I decided to get lunch first, and then I'll figure out who to sit by. While I was waiting in line, I was still searching for anyone I knew. And after I paid for my lunch, I didn't see anyone I knew. So I decided to make a friend. So I was looking for a group of friendly-looking people who were welcoming. I found a pretty nice group, and I walked over, my mind trying to sort out what to say, my knees wobbling. And I approached the seat, and I sat down. But, but before I could even say anything, they all stood up, walked away from me, and sat at a different table, leaving me there all alone. At that point, I was trying to comprehend what had just happened. I tried to make myself look like I wasn't lonely. But I decided to try again, this time with a, diff with a different group of people. And this time, I was a lot less confident, but I still wanted to try. So again, with my wobbling knees, my heavy breathing, and the butterflies that were still swarming, I walked to a table. And this time, I knew what to say. So I was really hoping I wouldn't blow it. So I walked over and I asked, is anyone sitting here? They replied with, sorry, but this whole table is taken. At that moment, I realized I had no choice but to sit alone. So I walked over to a table and sat down, all by myself. As I was sitting there, I was starting to think of the worst things. I wasn't pretty enough, I wasn't smart enough, and or anything that destroyed my confidence. And as time got on, went on, I was getting so tired of it. I was so done. I just wanted someone to understand me. I learned from that experience. Now, whenever I look at someone, I realize that they have a story. In fact, everyone has a story worth hearing. For example, I wanted you all to hear my story because I think it's important and I, want, and I don't want anyone to experience what I went through. People have stories worth hearing. What happened to me could have been prevented, could have easily been fixed if someone just said hello to me, gave some, took some time to get to know me. It could have been fixed so easily. If someone is alone, we don't know their personality, and we don't know what they're like. We can't assume immediately that people are mean, insensitive, or maybe even too sensitive. We all constantly judge others without even meaning to. Human connection is one of the most important aspects in life. When we see, when we see someone sitting alone and when we engage, engage with them, we start to relate to each other. We empathize. We begin to understand how they feel. And when we relate to each other, we build bonds. I want you to think about your best friend. The friendship started with just a few conversations, but it ended with trust. So if someone is alone, please engage with them. And they may want to be alone, but at least they know you care. So and that person that could be sitting alone at lunch right now could one day be your best friend. So say hello, reach out, and take a seat. Thank you.